Hi everyone, I'm David. And I'm Leah. You know, we do these videos oftentimes when you see us in this studio format. It's right down from our wine cellar and I almost thought we would be able to do this wearing shorts. It's kind of cold down here, <laughs> yeah. but it's so nice outside and with spring here now. Um, spring bulbs are out. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful weather. It's in the 60s. It's great. It's Easter time and today we wanted to drink a rosé because rosé, I know it reminds me of spring because I think we did that that um, rosé when we were camping that one yeah. time, right? Yeah. So that reminds you of that. And it's Sheldrake Point's 2016 Dry Rosé. So you know what makes me think, when, when I think of Sheldrake Point, is being on Cayuga Lake, paddling, you know, it's warm weather, great to be outside all day long, and then a great meal, grilled meal with a good wine. Yeah. So this is hopefully going to be a good choice. All right, this is 100% Cabernet Franc. And I'm not going to lie here, we, we, we did sniff this wine already and, mm -hmm. and found that initially, what did it smell like? <laughs> well, it smelled like Riesling for me for some reason. Um, and you get kind of like the shale stone mm -hmm. um, or citrus component. The lime. Lime, nose. yeah. Or even like a steel smell. Yeah. But after you swirl the wine in the glass and really let the aromatics open up, then it develops after probably two minutes of that, you, you really start to get the strawberry field and, and uh, this red fruits, ripe strawberries. I would agree with that. And even some yeah. straw or hay in there also. All right, let's taste this and see what this is like. Wow, it's uh, very acidic. It's not a sweet, Rosé. Yeah. Obviously, they said it's dry rosé on the dry. bottom. This is very dry. Um, a lot of citrus. Um, the forefront, there's almost kind of like this bite, and then it, it starts to mellow a little bit. There's a little bit of smoothness mm -hmm. to it, but there's the citrus in there, but there's some fruit too. Yeah, even at the at the end, you still get a little bit of that tanginess, mm -hmm. that, that, that prickliness on your, on your tongues. And, you know, they mention on their website that this would go well with, with salads and light fare, but also because of the acidity, it could cut through some of the uh, higher protein dishes, and yeah. oh, I would agree. Yeah, it's got a lot it of definitely versatility a, to it. A bang to your buck. I would actually say that this wine needs to be consumed with food <laughs> because it's so strong, you need something that complements it mm -hmm. well. This is 13% alcohol. $18. Um, it's the current version. It's out right now, 2016. So Sheldrake Point is definitely known for their ice wine, but I would say that they have a lot of other wines that are worthy of trying. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have some more. <laughs> Sheldrake Point's 2016 Dry Rosé. I'm David. And I'm Leah. Thanks for joining us on Wine Forecaster.